Okay, so this is my stage one personal reflection on the Jahari window, which I was going to put in my individual learning plan, but um, I'm testing out QuickTime, which apparently records um, what you're doing on screen if you're using a MacBook. Um, and I'm using a MacBook because it's my favourite laptop, so I want to see if this works or not. So this is an investigation into um, just how nerdy I am. Um, the first thing um, that I was asked to think of in this exercise was what my colleagues may think of um, positive characteristics. Um, and I suppose um, I would say that my positive outlook the fact that when someone wants me to do something, I'll do it straight away. And um, the fact that I'm task focused, I get things done quickly and I get them done right, are a couple of qualities I have. Um, a lot of people, if they're asked to do something, will take days or weeks or months or years to get around to doing it. I will do it straight away, uh, just so that I don't forget, really. By the way, this is my alternative avatar, Habask Falconer. Bex Mavendorf has gone to Spain for the week. Uh, so this is Habask, uh, who is my other avatar, um, who obviously has a very girly voice, uh, and who is the official Cornwall College Island avatar. Um, and I didn't make him to look like my ideal man at all. <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, I don't really like talking about what other people might think are good about me, because I'm finding this whole talking about me thing a bit difficult. And I hmm, sound a bit arrogant, but there you go. Um, the characteristics that colleagues may not recognise in me are my abilities to see things laterally. I'm doing that now by recording this exercise in Second Life. So there you go, proof that I think laterally. Um, my general inability to um, tolerate fool's disorganisation, lateness and untidiness, which all drive me round the bend. And the fact that I'm a control freak. I'm an anal retentive and I'm possibly slightly obsessively compulsive, uh, but you know, there you go, that's me. Um, while I'm here, look, there he is, it's my dog Sven. Sven's a very good dog, though um, you'll notice I have trees indoors here, because why not? I'm in Second Life, I can do what I want, um, and he does have a tendency to cock his leg against those. Ugh, bad Sven. Um, I ask my colleagues what they think of me, if I need to know, uh, rather than try and second guess. Or oh, That's my real life dog sneezing there, um, or make assumptions. I'm quite forthright like that. And um, I think that I do a lot for the corporation as far as ILT uh, goes, uh, getting members of staff to embed and incorporate elements of ILT imaginatively in their teaching as opposed to doing it for the sake of doing it. Um, I hope I've done that in my department, but like I say, more widely as a corporation. So I suppose um, those are other things that I've done um, that have helped in the past. The sort of coach I really want to be is an international one. Again, using this platform, using Second Life, even using these sofas uh, as a way of coaching people internationally rather than just coaching them, um, coaching members of Cornwall College staff in real life. Um, I want to use Skype, uh, Skype, excuse me, as um, that way I can use video um, and actually talk to and see the person that I'm coaching. Uh, but Second Life uh, as well, um, because it's just a, something I'm a huge fan of and I can see massive possibilities with, and I know I keep harping on about it, but there we go. Um, because I can have people coming to me for coaching who... Um, might be in another country, Australia, Spain, Belgium, um, Cardiff, um, who could be sitting here at the same time as me, and that opens up a whole new load of possibilities, and might put Cornwall College on the coaching map as being like the first truly international uh, place where coaching happens. I don't know, it's just a sort of niche that I'm looking into. Skills that I'm good at, uh, which is the next question that the exercise asked me, um, skills that I'm good at, I would say, is empathy, patience, looking at issues from different angles, and seeing both sides of an argument or a story. Um, I can always see the pros and cons of everything, which means I'm useless in an argument because I can take both sides, um, so people think I sit on the fence. But it also means I hope that I've got a more sort of well-rounded vision um, 
so I'd say that was a plus thing, a good skill. My learning gaps, and I've mentioned this before, um, is my inability to listen actively um, and my control freakiness, which makes me want to tell people what to do rather than drawing the answer out of them or getting them to draw their own conclusions. I find it much easier to go, look, you need to do this, this, this and this, and then that will happen. There you go. Cheers. Bye. Which is possibly not really a good coaching skill. Um, and that's it, really. So I'm now going to walk Sven before he cocks his leg against one of these trees. And I'm going to see whether this film actually worked and whether I can upload it to the SLC forum. Um, otherwise, I'll be recording this again on my Dell. Brilliant.